What's up, sports fans? And welcome to the Sports Shack, hosted by Jay Kerr and myself, Buddy Burns. Right now, we're going to get into the hottest topics floating around in the Sports Shack, and one of them is, we got an NBA season this year. What do you think about that, Jay? Uh, how many games were they supposed to play? Like, uh, from more than number, 50, I know that. Oh, it's 66 games. Wow, that they that many? <laughs> that they jam-packed into the, the schedule. If uh, I'm not mistaken, it starts... Uh, Christmas Day, and it ends yeah. uh, no, April no. Yeah, April twenty yeah. sixth. It's too bad for the Raptors, man. I think it's better that the Raptors sat out this year. Well, buddy, if uh, if they were bad on a regular uh, schedule, now they got uh, crazy. It's like back to back, back to back games. Three games in a row. They, they have no play. depth on that. They only have ten guys signed on the Raptors. Buddy, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to watch. It's gonna be it's not gonna be normal NBA because a lot of guys we were talking about are older guys like Kobe Bryant. They can't play back to back to back games. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of guys. We there's need a, a lot few. Of, yeah, I mean, Nash. There's whole teams like fucking. You look at Dallas Mavericks. You're talking about the, half the Celtics the teams above 35. Same with the. What's Kevin Garnett gonna do? You know what I mean? Yeah, but what's uh you know what's Paul Pierce gonna do? Ray then, Allen's a machine. Like he'll run forever. But. And then what? The the season ends April twenty sixth, like we said. Two days later, the playoffs start. No time for these guys to even uh, uh, injury re uh, to recoup. Let's just say not it's gonna only, be not fuck, only did they get a huge pay cut, but now the owners are fucking slave masters. <laughs> hey, tell uh, tell tell our viewers what uh, what they got. What was the percentage? Well, it's, it it uh, varies between forty nine and fifty one. I don't know exactly why or like what the rules are between that, but it can, the players can get 49. I guess on a bad year, the players that get 49, on a good year, they get 51. I don't know. Something like that. Something like that. But bottom line, that's a victory for the owners because they, they, they got what, 6% back? At least 6. Probably, At least 6. Most likely it's 50 50. Like, honestly. And, that, probably, and that's a victory for them, big time. Well, it's not a victory. It's keeping the lights on. I mean, they had, what was it, like 23 of the 30 teams were making money? I mean, I know, that's horrible. How do you, uh, how do you have a league when That's not teams? smart business. That's like, not, not even the NHL thing. has that. If the NHL had that, they'd be shut down already. Well, how we have one the team, then the, then the league buys them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't do that in the NBA. No, the NBA, there's no bailouts. <laughs> so what about the guys uh, who went to China, Jay? Well, uh, a couple guys went to China. They're not coming back. At not least, until March. Not until March. So you're talking about Kenyon Martin, uh, Yi Jin Liang, uh, G.R. Smith. So you're talking about like the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, the three know? players from the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> they shocking. Poor Denver is not going to have a team in Denver. Hey, but they, they knew this, eh? Signing in China that you have to, uh, yeah, well, you have to fulfill your obligation to your contract. And they can only leave. Until... They can't leave the country. That's the no, sad part. Yeah, that's the A. No, it's but like, hey, you're it's not like they can like run away to the airport and there's like a bunch of Chinese people watching them, following them around. You know what well, I mean? <laughs> so and those guys stick out like a sore thumb in China. Anymore, yeah, buddy. exactly. Big black guy. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking not America. Like Jared Smith is fucking a head taller than everybody else. <laughs> yeah, <I> don't, <laughs> don't even have to follow him. You know what I mean? You see him from a mile away. The fucking tree. So all in all, uh, excited about uh, an NBA season, eh? Because I know I am. I'm. Well, I want to see what's going to happen. It's good I, to see different sports, it's gonna be, man. It's good for the Miami Heat. I mean, we were talking about basically Miami Heat were the team that are going to lose the most if there's no NBA. Because LeBron's got to be inching to get back. He, he's got to he's got to win. I mean, like, a lot of players honest. have been itching to get back. You know what I mean? A lot of players. But no one more than. Basically, the Miami Heat. I mean, this is a team that should be winning the championship, are going to be favored again. If they don't, if, you know, now's the time to win it for them. I mean, 10 years, who knows what's going to happen? Well, one thing I know, Raptors are not going to win it, that's for damn sure. Raptors, oh man, I'm looking at their team, it's just garbage. Just absolutely, this is actually one of the worst teams I've ever seen. The Raptors have, by far, one of the worst teams ever. I'm just shocked at how... We'll talk about them in, uh, when the yeah, season starts. Just, we'll have our piece about... Uh, I'd be surprised if, the if they finish in second last place, to, to be honest. I mean, they're finishing last. <laughs> Good draft picks. All right, we'll end our show there. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. And uh, check out our website, www.thesportsshack.ca. We say it, we play it. Later.